Hello and welcome back to another Punch Technology video where today we're going to quickly discuss the issue where you've been enabling Secure Boot in your BIOS settings. However, when you come and load up Windows, you find that the Secure Boot state, as you can see here, is still set to off. What we're going to do today is go through why that's been happening to you guys and we're going to fix that problem. Um, this is being done on a Gigabyte BIOS today but the whole idea should be fairly similar to an MSI BIOS or an ASRock BIOS or an Asus BIOS, whatever you've got. I've configured this system as well, so it says Secure Boot State Off, even though I have it set to Enabled in my BIOS. Um, what we're gonna do is gonna go through and set it up properly just to make sure that our Secure Boot State is set to on once we load up Windows. We're gonna start by um, just restart the PC and head into your BIOS. In my case, on a Gigabyte motherboard, I'm going to tap the delete key as it's rebooting, and this will get me straight into the BIOS. So now that we've loaded up the BIOS, if you are on a Gigabyte motherboard, uh, make sure to be in advanced mode. If you are not in advanced mode and it shows up as easy, then um, just press the F2 key on your keyboard and that will let you switch back and forth between easy and advanced mode. Um, so in this BIOS, I'm gonna go over to boot and I'm gonna go over to secure boot at the bottom here. Again, if you don't see secure boot, make sure the CSM support is disabled as the secure boot is not available if that is set to enabled. I'm gonna head into the secure boot menu here so I've just reset all of this now, um, so it does say disabled. What I'm gonna do is enable this, and it's going to give me this warning message. So this isn't actually something we want to ignore. In this case, the secure boot, um, it says secure boot can be enabled when system is in user mode. But we're not in user mode, we're in setup mode. So I press OK here. If I restart the PC at this point, Windows is not going to say that Secure Boot is enabled. What I actually want to do is come down to the Secure Boot mode or the user mode and change this to standard. And then I'm gonna press yes here. Um, it does tell me do I wanna reset without saving, which I don't want to do. It's an odd message to pop up, but I'm gonna press no there. So the system mode at the top now that you can see it says it's deployed. So the fact that it's deployed means that it's now gonna work when I save this. So I'm going to press F10 to save and exit. And actually before I do that, um, if we just take a look at this here where it says not active, um, even though we, we had enabled it, if we now do an F10 to save and exit and just head back into the BIOS as soon as this restarts. We're going to head over to boot and go back to secure boot and we can see that the system mode is deployed, enabled and active. Okay, so if you had this problem, you just need to switch the secure boot mode or the user mode to standard. It might have a slightly different name on your computer but if we now press F10 to save and exit and allow the computer to fully restart, we should find that um, it will be switched on now. So we'll just allow Windows to load here. And as soon as we get in, we are going to check our system information and as you can see now, the secure boot state is set to on. So if that has helped you today, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. If you've got any more questions, please ask down below. If it still hasn't worked for you, I'll try and advise you as best as I can. Um, but without any further ado, I'll see you in the next video.